recording. Yo, what's up guys and welcome to another episode of Coffee Break. I'm super, I'm super, super, super excited because, well, we got another episode going on. But today we're going to be rolling in the 2020 BMW X7. Listen, it's not the X5. X5 is, is nice. It's like it kept, BMW kept, you know, true to the, to the shape and, and the power. It is the ultimate driving machine. And we have here the X7. I'm talking about 22 inch rims, 335 horsepower, 300, almost in 300 and something pounds of torque. This is a beast, turbocharged, eight speed automatic. Like this is a monster on the highway. This is amazing, it's good on gas. Um, we took, look at these, look at these 22 inch rims, man. Look at these 22 inch rims. It's crazy. We got all like the whole dynamic of it. The what what's so amazing about this car and about the X7 this time around is that BMW heard a lot of the fans reviews and, and what they thought about it. So what they did was when they were talking about technology, this joint has technology in it. Like, I don't know if you want to my man, come over here, bro. Look at that screen. Do you see that screen right there? That's an OLED screen. The, the dash is a screen. Like you're, you're talking about, look at this. It's beautiful, it's beautiful. Now, what we got right here is an ultimate driving machine. Not only two row seating, right? If you could see right here, this is not only two row seating. This is three rows. I don't know if you want to get back there, bro. This is three row seating. We got the trunk space here. Automatic, powered. If you want to make it, you know, bigger, you, you can. It just comes down. You know, you got space here to put stuff. It has all the all the all the the technology you need to bring down your seats is all in the touch of these buttons right here i'm not going to go full in depth of like the whole bringing down of the seats and bringing them back up but you'll see everything right here it just like everything just collapses and goes right in so it's just so con convenient and just like so well put press the button right here close it up this this machine is awesome this model right here is the x drive 40 inline six cylinder but like i said th this thing rides like a monster it rides like a plane it's amazing so i'm excited about it i'm excited about today because in this whip we're going to be going to interview a really good friend of mine man if you don't know who he is joseph sd you're about to find out and get a little bit inside of his life and who he is and what he does. So I just want to thank you for tuning in. Keep watching because now we're going to get some coffee. But first, let's get into this whip. I know someday we could find 
Is locked? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Usually, like when people try to get in the car. Or something. Yeah, it should be open, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, it should bro. be help, so. What's up, man? How's things, bro? It's good to see you, man. Yeah. Yo, what's going on, Daddy? BMW. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Better chill, dude, man. <laughs> bro, the seat belts, bro. <laughs> I when I realized it that the seat itself was tightening. I mean, yeah. I was like, yo. Yeah. What is that? Yeah, but I thought it was just me because he's like, like, oh, I'm for the J, like, tighten it up on me. I'm like, nice. He's like, oh, it's cheap. I wasn't ready for this. <laughs> so, how you been, bro? Been good, man, you know? Yeah, man. That was chill, life man. is life. Taking it, you know, one day at a time, man. No, I hear you, bro. But but I appreciate you taking the time, bro, for um uh, for me and, and for this, you know what I'm saying, for this episode. I think it's going to be pretty cool because I know a lot of people are, like, they, they want to know a little bit more about you, you know what I mean? Outside of, like, you know, just being a father and, and having two kids and a husband and all that stuff, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. what you do creatively, I think um, it's kind of cool for, for people to just get a little feel. Yeah. You know? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. People Thanks. got questions. Not Nothing crazy, but, but people do have questions, which was good, you know? Yeah, no, that's um, good. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, people do have some questions for you, so... It's a good thing, and you know, I'm usually uh, more to myself, right? In general, so right. But you know, I'm looking forward to it, man. So hopefully, we we, we get these questions in, and we can sit down with with a cup of coffee and 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 have a have a good chat. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. So that that's cool. So, so if you're still watching, of, man, oh. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what, what you said? I was gonna say, what kind of coffee? Like, oh, we're gonna have you know some. Saying? It's yeah, a good but, spot, you know, like. He just interrupted my, my, my whole line. I, tr but, I trust but, 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 but you. I trust you. It is a dope spot. But I'm going to keep you 100 with it right real quick. Is that. Are it, you going to keep it 100 with me? Yeah, I am. Yeah. It's, it's good. It's a good cup of coffee. Yeah. But it's not like, oh my God. like. You know what I mean? It's, but better, it's it, better than that Dunkin' coffee we have. Oh, yeah. It's way better than Dunkin' Donuts. Right, yeah. So the, that, the, yeah. this is it's a, it's a dope shot. It's a local shop. It's cool. You know, let's support the area too. It's like people have a tendency, like when they feel like somebody doesn't understand them, they just talk slower and louder. Yeah. So, <laughs> like, can you understand what I'm saying? Like, Say. do you get it? <laughs> but, oh man, oh man. Yo, this is Joseph SD. If you don't know, th th this is who he is, bro. Yeah. This is who he is. We actually had a little complication, man, but um, um, we had to do a little detour, a little coffee. We had coffee shop complication but yeah, but it, it's all good though somebody want to come play the cello yeah somebody wanted to come in and start doing like a, a some some hula dances and and <laughs> you know the, she had the mariachi guitar she she had the whole she had a 1963 amplifier and <laughs> i wasn't sure if, if that was gonna boom the way she wanted to but it's it's all good though but we on our way to to another coffee shop which is which is dope too is one of my one of my favorite ones also but it's on top of my favorite list of, of coffee shops. So Really on top? On top, bro. This one is on top. So we're gonna be going there. Interesting. And we're gonna we're gonna break bread there. So stay tuned, stay tuned. We're gonna be in this coffee shop, getting some coffee and getting it in like we said we were gonna do. Alright? Thanks. Later. Ah. Uh. 
yeah, uh, 16 when I first dropped out of school, I ain't care about no college, but I swear I ain't no fool. Now we good, we good. What's going on guys? And here we at another episode of Coffee Break. And today we have Joseph SD. But we we're actually um we had a little change up of coffee shops. So we're at actually it was a it was a tough time, you know what I mean? But I thank God that we were able to to come back here and, and still, you know, show some love back at Common Grounds again. Yep. I said Common Grounds. Back at Common Grounds. Common Grounds in Shelton is dope. I know, I was like, back at Kwame. I called that. I ain't want to point it out. Back though. at Kwame Grounds. Like, I'm going to be merciful. Yeah. No, but dude, what's going on, bro? How you been? How's things? Not the man. I'm just here, man, you know? Here at Common Grounds. <laughs> Yo, if you don't know Joseph SD, if you say just one thing wrong, whether it be a letter or a word or whatever, you're going to get roasted for like a good 20 minutes. But you know what? We're not here to roast because nah. I don't want to roast him either on his own, on this, you know what I mean? Because, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're on my show. Yeah, okay. You know what I'm saying? You're yeah. on the Coffee Break yeah. episode, you know what I yeah. mean? So I don't want to have to roast you yep. in this type of like environment, you know what I mean? Yep. But, um, dude, what, what, what you got going on, bro? What's, <laughs> what's cooking, man? Yeah, pardon me, man. Yeah. I'm, still, I'm still stuck. <laughs> I'm still stuck on that on that yeah, word. Bro. I, I need you to unstuck yeah. yourself. <laughs> nah, man. Um, let me take this sip real quick. Yeah, actually, me too. Cause I got a cappuccino. Yo, Common Grounds got some dope coffee right here. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying. I put off I put off coffee all morning. Just you know for this moment. Just for this moment. Yeah, you know, I wanted this this sip to be special. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause Ooh. I I knew what I was doing, where I was going. And who it was gonna be with? Yo, bro. You see, you see, you see exactly what I'm talking about. This is why Joseph S D. Mm -hmm. Like you, you're gonna get all of him. You're gonna get the funny side of him. You're gonna get the serious side of him. You're gonna get the, the like, yo, this is what the, the working side of him. Right. You know, yeah. well, bro, everybody, dude. I, once I posted these things up, people were asking me questions. You know what I mean? And it's like that yeah, they want to. I, I don't want to get into the questions yet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I just, I got my own, you know what I'm saying? Like, just yeah. way of just chatting with you and seeing, like, what's going on, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. what you've been up to. Um, um, if you don't know, you know what I'm saying? He's, he's, he is a father. He does have two kids. You know what I'm saying? He's married. Yes. And he has his music stuff. Like, I, I saw, I, I posted that, you know what I'm saying? An entrepreneur slash, you know what I'm saying? Father slash artist, you yeah. know? Because you don't just play, just run w w one role, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So how you find yourself like playing all these roles at the same time, you know what I mean? Being that you're the father, being that you're also an entrepreneur, you're, you're a creative person. Like, how do you balance these things? Man, I feel like, um, I feel like there's no right answer to it, to be honest. Like, you know, especially these days, I feel like, you know, everybody has, um, they have their opinion, they have their, their ways of doing something or how to go about it. You know, there's all these tricks and, and tips and, you know, but personally speaking, I'm just, I'm just another human being, you know, with, uh, yeah. with desires, with, with things that I love and um, trying to learn how to balance them every day. You know right, what I'm right. saying? Just like I said, obviously there's things that come first for me, my family, my yep. faith, yep. you know what I'm saying? Uh, and also just keeping things in perspective, yeah. you know? It's, it is a challenge to balance all things. Yeah. You know, I can't put all my focus on just my music. I have two kids, I have a wife, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And um, and also, I, I wanna make sure that I'm I'm moving in alignment with what God has for me also, yeah, not yeah. just what I wanna do, right, right. you know? Yeah. So. No, I appreciate that, I respect that, you know what I mean? Cause yeah. it's, it's, it's true and it's, it's it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? You got all these things going on and this is how you go about it. It's how like you a do step it. by step, one day at a time, right. you know? Sometimes yeah. I feel like I'm trying to do everything at one time. Sometimes right. I gotta take a step back and yeah. focus on one thing at a time and, yeah. and put my energy into that, you know? But yeah. then there's all these desires, you know? Like, oh, I like, wanna do this, I wanna be here, I wanna do this, I wanna, you yeah. know, I wanna complete this or I wanna, you know, get um, reach this goal. Or, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. So it's it's a little it's a little challenge, man. But 
just gotta keep at it. Right, you, you keep pressing, right? Yeah. Keep God first, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. above all things, you know what I mean? We, we, we're keeping God first and everything. So how, yeah. how about, like, how do you feel at this moment of your <clears throat> life, you know what I mean, with, with the music that you've been dropping and, you know what I'm saying, your, your, the music that you've been, I know that the music is a representation of who you are, you yeah. know what I mean, like, it talks of a, of a place, mm -hmm. you know, it talks of a story, it talks of, you know what I mean, like, so, yeah. so many different things, so how, how, how do you feel right now when it, as far as music, like, Excuse me. With, with new stuff that you're doing, right, new songs that, that you're dropping out, like, how do you feel about this whole process now that of of getting content out? Um, it's funny because my original plan was to drop a project. Okay. You know, just um, I wanted to drop an album. Then that went to like an EP. Then it went to um, the process of just going single by single. You know, um, I mean, overall, I feel good that at least there is some music out there. You know, because I mean, just as a creator, mm -hmm. you know, I don't want to, I don't want to put my effort into doing something, you know, just for it to, to sit in my email or something like that. Mm -hmm. You know, like I want to put it out there and I want people to hear it. You know what I'm saying? And um, and I want to reach people with it also. Yeah. Um, so to go back to what you said, like how do how do I feel mm -hmm. about it mm -hmm. and where it's at? And where it's at. I mean. Sometimes I gotta I gotta take a step back and appreciate where it's at. Mm, okay. You know. All right. It's it that's. Well, what what do you mean? Like, go a little bit deeper on that. I think like. I, I I'm sure like there's there's a lot of creatives out there, especially this day and age. You know, everybody wants to create something. You know, everybody wants to be somebody, right? Um, for me, it's not necessarily the I want to be somebody. Fame has never been my motivation. I don't care about fame. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But. Um, sometimes I have to take a step back as a creative and just appreciate and, and not just that even as a person mm. take a step back as a person because you know sometimes I can focus so much on where I want to be you know that it'll almost bring a, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for a word. I don't know if it's resent I don't resent where I'm at you know what I'm saying but almost like not appreciate where I'm at because I'm not where I want to be. Okay. But also forgetting I'm not where I used to be. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And just as a creative, there's so much more that I want to do. There's so much more that I want to put out. There's so much music. Like there's a lot of music that's yeah. not even recorded. Like yeah. you know, like my wife always tells me, like, yo, babe, you got a couple albums like yeah. just sitting under your belt. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, and for me, it's like I just want people to hear it. Yeah. You know, but. Sometimes I gotta take a step back and just appreciate the fact that at least there's some music out there. Cause mm -hmm. there was a point where there wasn't. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. I I, I know. I mean, because to, to go on no, 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 no. But but that's that's yeah. good. That's what this is about, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This is what it's about. But I just need to. I hope everybody is 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 getting a feel of to who jo of, of I hope everybody's getting a feel who jo Joseph S D is yeah. and and where he's coming from. But I want to take a quick pause, really quick. Cause I need some more sugar in this thing. Thank you for that little quick pause. Yep. But yeah, bro. So you know, um, I first of all, I just want to say I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? You coming through and taking the time to yeah. to do this. You know what I mean? Yeah. I know you got things going on. You know what I mean? And it's it's we're gonna have a busy day today. Yeah. Um, it, it has been a busy day. Yeah. But no, for um, you too. Um, yeah, it's been it's been crazy. But. Uh, we here, yeah. and um, I'm glad that we've been able to sit down now and just like get to the to the point of where we want to get to, yeah. you know. Uh, thank um, you for having me. No, for yeah, real, bro. Man. Seriously, you know dude. It's not a one way thing. It's all love all the time. Yeah. You already know how we do it. Yes, sir. So you know, I'm just excited that that we can sit down and just have these type of conversations because sometimes people want to hear. You know, sometimes people follow you as a fan. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. As as a person, but they just see you as the artist. But they don't see like the other sides, you know what I mean? They're, they're not at every event that you're at, at every place you're ministering, at yeah. every show you're doing, you know, no, not everybody's there. But this gives people an outlet to like, you know what I mean? Oh, let me get to know who who he is just a little bit more and how he engages with, with his people, you know what I mean? Yeah. But um, I do have a question though that What's people up? were hitting up. Um, and it was actually a good question too. And I got written by C4, right? So where, C4 where, where? has a question. Shout out my man. Shout my out man, to a guy, my man C4. 
he said a question and I was like, you know what, this is a really good question. And he said, if you can sign to any label in the world, he didn't even say in Connecticut or I don't even know if a label's in Connecticut. Wow, no. But if you can sign to any label in the world, who would it be? I don't know, this this question, man, like this question used to it used to rattle my mind. Um it's not really a desire though as it used to be. Mm. Like I remember when I was younger, it was like a dream, you know, like a dream come true. Mm -hmm. And and not even um not even so much of a dream. It was for me almost like it would be an escape route also. You know, to just cause you know, you kinda saw it as an opportunity to better yourself, you know, to make something out of your craft and you know, and along with that comes the uh not just the accolades, you know, but the, the finances, mm -hmm. right? The backing to actually go full force with your you know, with what you're trying to do, mm -hmm. you know, with your music and as a brand and get yourself out there. Um so it's these days, man, I really I could care less to be honest. Okay. I I'm respect just, that. I'm, I'm just being real. Like, I'm at a point in my life where it's like, and I know it seems like the cliche thing these days because everybody wants to be their own entity, mm -hmm. but for me, it's like or their own brand, you know, their own label, whatever, you know? Yeah. Um, you just want to make I music. Just, I just want to, yeah, I just want to make music. I want to have control over what I'm doing mm -hmm. and how I do it. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, man, that's pretty much it, man. And I, I feel like uh, so much sacrifice goes into it, you know, especially looking at it from the perspective of somebody who's already been doing it on their own for so long. You know, it's like, why do I want to be signed to somebody who just have their hands all up in your all stuff, up, all up in, in your, my pot? You know yeah, what I'm saying? There's, like, there's just, so much policy and political stuff in there too, man. And yeah. especially now in this in this day and age of 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 faith, you know what I'm saying? Talking about God and yeah. you know. How we talk about God and some there's certain labels that that restrict you and and yeah. and being open in yeah. that sense, you know, yeah. to talk about God, to talk about what God has done in your life, and to even share, talk about Christ at yeah. the end of the day, you know, talk about Jesus, and it becomes like a big thing. Yeah. But um, I respect that answer too because it's it's it is something that a lot of people, and if you're an artist out there, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're looking to also expand yourself. Yeah. Don't get too hyped with that, you know, like, oh, I, I want to get signed, I want to get signed. Just keep doing music because you love the craft and you want to get a message across. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's why I respect you, you know what I mean? Because it's like, you do music, but it's it's not just music because you're looking for something in return. Like, yeah. you just want to get the message across, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, Obviously, right. it'll it'll bring forth blessings and, yeah. you know, opportunities, yeah. but, but your heart is not at like, oh, I'm going to be signed with this label, I'm going to be getting this amount of stacks, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's not where your heart is at. It's like, you know, it's like the, what we was reading, you know, yesterday in Deuteronomy, you uh -huh. know what I'm saying? Like, as, as I keep, you know, um, the commandments first, you know, yep. the, my, my God's commandments first, and I, and I keep um, him, you know, as the, the focus and the reason, you know what I'm saying? He's going to bless the hands of my work. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He's going to bless, I'm sorry, yeah. bless the work of my hands. Right. And I know that was an opportunity for yeah, you. Yeah, but, but you know what? But I, I, I see you, you and your, um, your interviewer yeah, bag, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So just stay there. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> the hands of the dish, man. Because I peeked a little smirk. He was like, <laughs> then we were going to get into something else. Yeah, yeah. Nah, but, um, yeah, that he would bless the work of my hands, man, you know, and for me, like, that's that's the important thing, you know, the, the music comes after that, you mm -hmm. know, and, and, and it, it is a desire, it is something I love, you know what I'm saying, but mm -hmm. it's not the only thing that I am, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. but, yeah, man. Yeah, but God is always looking to bless the hands of your yeah, work, you yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, no, facts, man, facts, man. And that's such a great point, and I think a lot of, a lot of people need to hear it. If you're if you're an artist, you know if you're a person that does music, and if you have Christ in your life, it should always be Christ centered. You yeah. know, your life should be Christ centered. Everything that you do should be Christ centered, and everything else is gonna come along. You know, yeah. have you had your ups and downs, just hurdles and stuff? Of course, we all have. Lord you know? knows, man. But it's been a journey. It's been a roller coaster it's ride. It's been a roller coaster, right? Yeah, it's been a roller coaster ride, man. And, and you got two boy, two boys especially that especially with two kids, yeah. man, with two kids and. Love those you know, kids. Yeah. 
Yeah, man. Those are my boys, man. So. Yo, shout out to Mally and Zion, yo. Yeah, facts. Those kids, if you don't know who they are, bro, yo, those, pss, those are my little guys. Boy, man. But yeah, man. Right. Especially, you know, even, even with 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 that, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it won't come before my boys either. You right, know? right, right, that, right. That's important too. You yeah. know, being a father and being present in their life. You uh -huh. know what I'm saying? And and not not just being there, mm -hmm. but being active. Yeah. You know. And and this is good. You know what I'm saying? Because in the future, as they get older, they're gonna look back and they're gonna watch this interview. You know what I'm saying? Mm. They're gonna look at you and be like, "Oh, damn! You know, Daddy was about this life. You know word, what I'm saying? Word. He's he's not That's about. Fire. You know what I'm saying? He's yeah. he he really is about this life. Yeah. He's not about the, you know, just chasing after, you know, just the dreams. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Chasing after things, but. You know, th there's a lot of things that you put in perspective, you know, that yeah. that we also have to always keep, you know what I'm saying? Outside of our craft. Yeah. I'm a creative person. I do, yeah. you know, music. Yeah. And we, you know what I'm saying? That's where we can yeah. connect in so many different even ways. Outside but music, even, man, even outside of music, man. You're stretching yourself you know what I'm saying? in a lot of different, a lot of different things, yeah, you know man. what I mean? But as long as, as we keeping God, bro, and we obedient yeah. to his word and we obedient to his practices, bro, everything else is going gonna, is gonna to come along, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, That's true. God has just been, he's been faithful and he's been good, bro. Yeah, and I, and I, and I've had the privilege. That's why this moment for me, you know, interviewing you is, is a blessing to me mm. because I have had the privilege to walk with you, mm. you know, in yeah. these moments, you know yeah. what I'm saying? In yeah. your good moments, in your low moments, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And, and I actually thank God for that, bro. Broken moments. Yeah, and the broken moments, you know what I'm saying? That, yeah. that I've actually been able to sit down with you and you know cry with you and you know yeah. what i'm saying and just like vent with you but that without feeling judged or without yeah. feeling you know what i'm saying like damn he's looking at me in a certain way or whatever the case is so like this interview is more than just an interview for me at least yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah, no, i know yeah. it's going to be just a regular interview that somebody's going to watch to get to know yeah. you but you know it's 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 also it, it's come it's been brewing you know what i mean yeah. for a long time because our relationship has has grown years bro. since years bro years and, it, and it's been it's been awesome it's been a great journey you know what i'm saying yeah. being a part of that 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 lifestyle of yours mm -hmm. and you being a part of my lifestyle you know yeah. what i mean and um um it's, it's been it's been cool i got a i got another interview i got another question um um yeah. that came up by my boy manny manny music he hit the dm and he was like yo bro ask him this so manny boy. music yo shout out to manny music mm -hmm. And L E L. Yep. He said, "When you drop in that record with the Chance vibe, so you have a record. So 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 you have you have a, a collection. Yo, you a trip, bro, for real. You have a collection of things, right? And I've heard I've heard some of your 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 beats that you had potential lyrics to that you haven't put there yet. You know yeah. what I mean?" I've heard beats of yours that you've had transitioned into different songs. Yeah. You know what I mean? I've heard songs transition to different beats to see which song is gonna <laughs> yeah, yeah. like clash with that Process. the right one. Yeah, you know what I'm man. saying? And I get it. Because it has to it has they to, have to support each other. You know, it's like it's like on Will Smith right. man, and, and Martin Lawrence, right? right? Bad boys for life. Now nah, I'm playing, man. <laughs> but yo, they have to they have to complement each other. They, have, they gotta have each other's back, man. And maybe that was a. Uh, um, a poor metaphor, but you know, it's the first thing that came to mind, so I said it. So, if, if anybody got a problem with it, it's all right, man. Hey, you know what I'm saying? You know what? Just, you're gonna be all right, just exit. Nah, but oh. <laughs> he said, just exit. <laughs> nah, man, but yeah, man, you know, the, the beat and the lyrics, man, they yeah. have to they have to support each other, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying, man? You don't want to just hear a song and it's like, yo, the lyrics was weak, but the yeah. beat was dope. Are you like, oh, you know, for me, it's like, I've heard songs where I'm like, the lyrics was fired, you know, right. the delivery, it yeah. needed a better beat, though, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? So, it's always that process of trying to find the right things to support each other. Huh. Yeah. So, what do you, so what do you think about this, then? Um... So it's so funny because he's, he's, he's asking you yeah. like about this chance vibe. Yeah, so yeah. is that something that can potentially, you know, come out as a track, or or is maybe like uh, is it gonna be part of an album that you may foresee, or is it something that you would just post on Instagram as a as a new song that you just want everybody to hear? Nah, it's definitely. And it's funny because we were just I was chilling with him the other day. Once again, shout out my boy Manny, man, and um, he brought it up too. It's funny because it's like he brings it up. He's like, yo. But what's up with that song? You know that you showed me because I sent him a clip one day. Uh -huh. um, definitely a single, 
it definitely could be a part of a, a, a collection of songs also, like an EP or an album maybe, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I'm still in this like single phase, you know, trying yeah. to build up, I guess, um, followers, listeners, you know what I'm saying? People yeah. that will tune in. Because okay. for me, it's kind of like, if I drop a whole project, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, who, who's gonna go listen to yeah. it? So I understand the, yeah. the, the, the part of like having yeah. to build up that, the right. listeners, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, but, okay. Um, yeah, man, that's, that's what he's talking about, and I love it. And yeah. the way he's been like um, cheering me on with it, yep. it makes me love it more. So oh, okay. definitely a single. So it's that, coming soon, bro. So it'll come soon. So many, it's coming soon, bro. There's your answer. Um, written by C4, you got your answer too, bro. And then we got we got several questions from one person. <laughs> and um, this person is a little extra. Um, <laughs> but I was like, you know what? It's all good, though. Some of the questions that were on this list, I've already, you know, we've, we've gone through them already. Oh, yeah. Um, but... Who, who do you think would, would give a list, like, of questions, like, some of your fans or people out there that, that you may know or have a feeling that, you know what, they peep in your stuff and it's like, you know what, I think maybe this person would probably give me this whole list of questions. You got anybody, just the first thing, the person that first comes to mind. Just one person just that one hit person you with a whole list. With a whole list. It's probably, probably my boo. <laughs> Yo, he knows you. He knows you. Shout out to Shia, his wife, man. She's a wonderful woman. Yeah, thanks. Um, she got projects that she's working on too, yeah. and she's doing, man. So mm -hmm. we're gonna we're gonna rock out with that one too, and we're gonna connect and and um, we'll be able to bring her into an episode as well. But shout out to Cheyenne. Mm -hmm. um, but she gave a list of questions. I was like, listen, I'm not going through all these questions. I'm gonna just select one. Yeah, I'm gonna pick. You know what I'm saying? And she got a whole bunch of me, and she says like, I I like this question. And I want to leave it at that, you know what I'm saying? Because she has a lot of ones that have to do with about songs and, you know, about music. But this question she asked, what's, what is, what's the biggest problem? What's the biggest problem you have had to overcome so far? Right? So the problem here could be an, uh, an obstacle. It could be, you know, an, an issue. What has been the biggest so far that you've been able to to overcome? It? That's a. That's a. It's funny, man, because I think about a lot of like. <clears throat> I guess I think about life. That's the first thing I re, I resort to. Think about life and um, I guess all the, the challenges that I have faced um, outside of just being an artist, but as a person, you know what I'm saying. Mm. But if I'm being real, man, when I sum it all up, I think the biggest problem has been me. Like, I know that might sound a little, you know, harsh or whatever, but it's the truth. You know, like, time after time, and like, and, and this is, and I'm able to say that because I've, I've come to a place where I could be real with myself. Mm. And mm. I think that there's a lot of people out there that have yet to reach that place where they could be real with themselves. That's a good one. That's where a good one. they can hold themselves accountable for their own actions, their own choices. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, it's not always it's not always God's fault. It's not always about God. Why have you allowed these things to happen? Why am I suffering? Why is this and that? Why is this and that? You know, sometimes, man, we suffering from from poor decisions that we make. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we suffering from from a poor mentality. That's right. There's things that need to be broken in us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's not for me. It's not even so much like just because I'm a believer, but we have to grow as people. Yep. We have to grow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And for me, it's like, yo, you could be 40 years old and still thinking the same way you thought when you was 20. Yeah. Mm, facts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We have to grow as people. You know what I'm saying? And I've definitely grown as a person over time. And there's been a lot of trials and tribulations that I face, a lot of challenges. You know what I'm saying? But one thing I really realize now is that my mentality got in the way a lot. You know, mm. and, and I got in the way a lot. Mm. So for me, I have been the biggest problem. 
because I have set myself back many times before. That's good. Even when God was like, listen, yeah. this opportunity, you know yep. what I'm saying? There's things that, that I have for you. And his word tells me too, yeah. there's things that he has for me. You know what I'm saying? That his desires for me are to prosper, are to prosper me, are to give me hope in the future. Yep. There's his desires, you know? But yep. it, then it comes down to me and my decisions and the things that I choose and the routes that I choose to go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, God is like, listen, I have, I know what I have for you, yeah. but then I'm like, this is what I want for me. Right. So I go this way and now I'm suffering from a decision that mm. I made, yeah. you know, so I've gotten in the way of myself time after time. I have delayed myself. I have set myself back. I needed to overcome me. I needed to overcome mm. intimate battles. I needed to overcome a mentality. I needed to break that mentality, yeah. you know, and, I, and I've been able to do it through Christ, man, in Christ Amen. alone. Amen. You know what I'm saying? I've been set free through the blood of Jesus. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's good. It's not, it's not by me. It's, you know that, what I mean? Yeah, that, that's really good, man. By my works. No, are, bro, that's... Or me. I did it. No, I did it. I'm here because of God and God yep. alone, you know? Amen, bro. I respect that. I love that. I love that answer. You know what I'm saying? That's the most transparent answer ever. You know what yeah. I mean? The most genuine. It's a real and it, yeah, it's a real, yeah, it is a real answer. You know, and and um, people need to hear that too. You yeah. know, people people need to hear that, man. That it's just not about a craft and an artistry that we that God has given yeah, us. You know nah, what I'm saying? True. It's it's true. everything. You get a full package. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you know the trials are there. You know, yeah. we go through things, but to to come up and say that I have been the biggest problem shows a level of maturity in in your your in your sense, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And we have a lot of immature Christians, bro. We have a lot of immature artists, you know what yeah. I mean? That, yeah. you know, that haven't yet come to that place of just like, you know, can it be me? Can I be the problem? Yeah. You know what I mean? For yeah. for me not achieving certain things in life, you know, and yeah. And I think one of the biggest obstacles, and, and, and I've spoken about this too, with, you know, when, when we speak to our youth and stuff like that, it's like, you know what, the biggest obstacle you're going to face in life, on top of everything else, is going to be yourself. Yeah. Because God is constantly always trying to, to, to build your character and yeah. a character in us that yeah. is Christ-like, you know? Yeah. And sometimes we, we fall into these places, like you said, you know, you hit it right on the nail, you know what I mean? You hit it right on the nail. And, and I think that um, everyone, should should analyze themselves at this moment yeah. if you're watching this video right now you should be analyzing yourself right now at this moment like damn couldn't what what's keeping me from getting to that next place can it be me yeah. it's possible it's it's definitely possible what you know? am i doing what, what am i doing how can i help a situation right. instead of bringing up issues 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 yeah how can i bring up you know what i'm saying um a solution yeah. How can I help the situation? How can I better myself and even better my circumstances? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because your your surroundings can easily become a reflection of your mentality and how you see Ooh. things. Bro, this boy is dropping bar. I, listen, I would advise you to pause this, rewind it a little bit, pause it again, take out a notepad, and start writing some notes. Cause this dude right here is dropping some some gems on you. They're yeah. they're in there, man. Take some notes. That's the good thing about this video. You can pause, you can record, you can fast forward. Listen, technology, technology Again? to the fullest. The Look at, no. Well, that is true. We could <laughs> go, we could go all day about yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah, we could. Man. You know what I'm saying? But, but um, it is it is a gift, though, man. You use yeah. it for the right thing. If you use it like anything else, yeah, bro. You, yeah, anything you, so like true. everything else, bro. You use it so to, for the right thing. It's, it's gonna work. Yeah. You know? But um, but dude, man, I, I I appreciate like I said, I appreciate this time. I, I appreciate the your transparency yeah. through all this. You know what I'm saying? We had a cup of coffee. I know we big coffee lovers and stuff. Yeah. Um, the coffee was good, by the way. This cappuccino. Yeah. Common grounds. I saw my cup. I was like, man, this. I know, me my, too. Where I, my I was coffee like, go? Like, I was like, I needed a larger, extra fact, large, actually, whatever. Actually, you took sips while I was gone. When you. Yeah, when I went to the, like. Yeah, I'm not don't sure. Don't do that, man. Yeah. Don't do that. Maybe. Was you watching my cut? No, I wasn't actually, because I was watching mine. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. So, dude, I'm 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 really excited about this, bro. And I, and I'm 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 hopeful that if you're watching this, that you're blessed by it. That you know certain questions that you were looking, you know, to 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 see answered. That you you got some of the answers. But I would like to also open up as a like a last, not a question, but. I would like to ask you, you know what I'm saying, if, if there's something that you can tell somebody, like right now, you know what I mean, somebody's watching this video, watching this episode, and there's something that you can tell your fans, 
the people that have been supporting you since day one, you know what I mean? Like your followers on Instagram, your Facebook, you know what I'm saying, your SoundCloud, and you know, if, if, if there's something that you can tell them like right now, what would you tell them? Um, I would definitely say that there's more. There's more. Wherever you're at in your life, whether it be bad, whether it be good, there's more. There's more to come. Your, your current situation is not the only thing that you will know for the rest of your life. You know what I'm saying? I'm speaking as a person. My, the, the artist that I am is a reflection of who I am as a person. It's not two different people. So I'm speaking as a person. Just somebody who has had to overcome so much outside of music. Whatever, whatever it may be, you know what I'm saying? Where, however you are struggling in life or the dreams and the desires that you may have, there's more, there's more. God has more for you. Amen. Don't, don't settle, don't become content. Keep reaching, keep pushing yourself even when you feel like nobody's in your corner, nobody's clapping mm. for you. Just focus on God and keep pressing forward. Fight for your life. Amen. Uh, Ooh. There it is, bro. There it is. Uh, that's what I would say. Joseph S.D. Receive that word, you know, in your heart and in your spirit. You know what I mean? Receive that word. Um, th this is this is Joseph S.D. I'm Jonathan. Yes, sir. We on Coffee Break episode number five. We got some good content coming up in the next couple of episodes too. So if you haven't tune yet subscribed, in, you know tune what I'm saying? In, tune, tune in. in. Stop wasting time. Subscribe, like, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the videos. You know what I'm saying? That's how I grow. I'm okay with comments and letting me know what, what you think, what you want to see in the next couple of videos yeah. and stuff. You know, I'm okay with it. But just make sure you subscribe to the channel and that you share it with people. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't cost you anything. It's free. But it's, it's good content for, for, for your soul and for all those creative artists that are out there. You know what I mean? This is another episode of Coffee Break. Joseph S.D., man, I appreciate you. But you, you know what, dude, I forgot. I wanted to start something new on this channel, man. I want to do a little game. Or, or not a little game. Right. Or just like a little pause. All right, I'm going to head out. No, man. And what be up? like, what's on your feet? That no. means what you got right there. What what wheels you got on today? He said what wheels? You know, there's some little something light, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I wanted to come out nice, calm, cool, and collective. Black and white Adidas. You want some little black and white Adidas? This is a collab uh, collaboration that an artist did. Um, I don't know if you ever heard of him, ASAP Ferg. Yeah. He did like a collaboration with Adidas, and this was the shoe that he released. Oh, word? They were actually a gift to me, but they're like one of my favorite pair of shoes, man. They're all black and white Adidas. You could dress them up or dress them down, in my opinion. But wow. I don't ever dress up anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but th those are fire. Yeah, I like them. Yeah. You know? Yeah. break my leg. <laughs> You know what these are, bro? That's how you feeling? That's how you feeling? Black and white. You can be you today. That's that collab. These are actually fire. Nah, you finna put them back on now. Hey. Let's get it. <laughs> Air Max 27s, eight. Hey. Purple, pink, yellow. You know what I'm saying? Hard, you think so? Yeah, I like the color wave. Bro, Especially with the, with the little, the little sweater. Ooh, you're right. Little Paramino sweater. Yo, yeah, plug that in, yo. If you don't know about that Paramino, go check him out on Instagram. P E R, P E R I M E N O. That's the merch that I got. And if you didn't know too, my man right here has a clothing line as well called Still, Still Dreaming. Dreaming. Yeah. Tell him about that real quick. Still Dreaming, man. It's just something. Um, I feel like as long as you alive, man. It's time for you to keep dreaming, you know what I'm saying? Um, still dreaming, man. You could check it out. Check it out on our Instagram. Yep. It's underscore still, underscore dreaming. Facebook, whatever the case may be, and look more into it, man. Yep. So we're going to have all this information in the description of this video so you can connect with him and, you know, see what he got. Support, man. Let's support one another. You see him, he's doing his thing, we're doing his thing. We here we as a community to support one another. So let's yeah. let let's support each other as we grow in this faith walk and as we as God continues to do new things in our lives. Amen. 
So I just want again, I want to thank you for tuning in to another Coffee Break Episode 5 with my man Joseph S. D. Sir. Later. Uh, yeah, uh, 16 when I first dropped out of school. I ain't care about no college. Well, this is the call, this is the things that happen, bro. Thank you.